What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of King Print where I cover all things screen printing. Now in today's video, what I wanted to do is cover this new product called Infusible Ink by Cricut. Now be sure to stay to the end for money saving tips on this product. Now Cricut Infusible Ink is billed as an all new system of Cricut DIY products that make it possible to achieve pro level personalization heat transfers on t-shirts and more at home for the very first time. I was recently walking down the aisles of Michaels and saw this big display on this Cricut infusible ink. They had uh, a bunch of ink set up, a few different Cricut cutters, and all the accessories that go along with it. And it automatically caught my eye because I had never seen this product before. Now what's cool about this infusible ink is it's not a vinyl transfer, it's not a photo transfer. It's actual ink that transfers onto the t-shirt itself and what you're left with is just the feel of the t-shirt because the ink actually infuses into the fibers of the t-shirt. So you don't feel any type of ink, any type of plastic, any type of transfer. It's just the soft hand of the t-shirt. Now let's take a look at how this works and I'll answer some questions on this product. Another plus on this machine is you can print way more than just t-shirts with this transfer. All right, it's a really easy process similar to cutting heat transfer vinyl. You're gonna take your infusible ink which is just like a heat transfer vinyl sheet. Take it to your Cricut cutter, cut the material out, get it weeded, heat press it onto your t-shirt. Just as simple as that. Now this material comes in solids and patterns, running anywhere from $12.99 to $17.99. Now for $12.99, what you're gonna get is two 12 by 12 sheets. So that comes out to about $6.50 per foot which is a little bit on the pricey side. And there's even infusible ink markers. Let's take a look at this here. Now this product is kind of confusing to me. As you can see here, you're printing a traceable paper and then you're going in with the markers and filling it in. So that got me thinking, you can just get a permanent marker and just go directly onto whatever substrate you're printing and skip this step entirely. Now let's take a look at what you're gonna need, some of the products and pricing. This is gonna be your easy press mat and this is gonna be a Teflon coated mat that you would put onto your Cricut heat press. This is your infusible ink transfer, $12.99 for two sheets of 12 by 12. Your Cricut maker, $3.99. Your Cricut easy press, $2.49. All right, let's go over some of the products and accessories here. So you have your infusible ink markers. You have your Cricut garment here. Um, now this is a commonly asked question. Do you need to use the Cricut garment to print the infusible ink. Now on the actual infusible ink package itself and on the package of the blanks, it's going to tell you only use Cricut branded blanks. And that's just a, a marketing thing that they want you to use theirs, but you don't. Let's call this what it really is. Infusible ink, sublimation ink. That's all it is. So you do need to use a light garment, whether it's white, and that's gonna give you your best result, or a light gray, maybe even like a light color, like baby blue, something like that. But you're gonna get your best result if you use it on a plain white shirt. Another thing, it has to be 100% polyester. It can't have any cotton in it. It can't be 100% cotton. It cannot be 50-50. It has to be 100% polyester. It does not need to be a Cricut branded blank. They just want you to buy their blanks, obviously. But let's call it what it is. It's sublimation ink. So you can use any type of 100% polyester t-shirt, v-neck, tank top, whatever it is. So the accessories that are available right now is your regular t-shirt, your women's v-neck, your coaster, your circle coaster, your tote bag and your square coaster with more accessories coming out. Now let's get into the money saving part of this. Now this system is fine for the hobbyist, uh, somebody that's gonna make some shirts for themselves, friends and family, stuff like that, no problem. Uh, another thing I wanna mention is that this infusible ink you can use on any type of vinyl cutter. Again, they're gonna recommend that you use only Cricut, but again, that's a marketing thing. They only want you to use their products, right? Of course, but you can use it on any type of vinyl cutter. You just have to mess with your, your pressure settings, your speed settings, all that, but you can use it on any vinyl cutter. Getting back to it, this is fine for the hobbyist, but if you're looking to make some actual money doing this, I would recommend an aftermarket 
sublimation printer a sublimation printer you can probably get for anywhere from 250 bucks to a thousand bucks let's say on the high end right but you're going to be right in the middle maybe about 350 400 bucks something like that right for a decent sublimation printer inks included ciss kit all that and your transfers are going to be 100 percent cheaper because what you're doing here with this is a 12 by 12 sheet which is going to run you roughly 650 per sheet and you're only going to be able to print an 11 by 11 size image because you need a half inch on each side to clear so you, you're only going to be able to print an 11 by 11 depending on the printer that you buy you can print a 13 by 19 each print you print is going to run you let's say 75 cents at most compared to your six dollars and fifty cents per sheet so again all this is is a sublimation printer for the hobbyist so the the cricket cutter is four hundred dollars already you can spend the same thing buying a sublimation printer and do a whole lot more because with the sublimation printer you are going to be able to print custom images like let's say for example you're going to do a birthday party and the birthday party theme is toy story for example right you can print the actual full color toy story characters on there on your white garment and let's say, for example, you try to do that on your Cricut infusible ink cutter, you're not going to be able to print full color images. You'd probably just be able to do the vector single color screen print type print. And with this material, as well as a sublimation printer, you're able to print on a ton of various different materials. It just has to be sublimation quoted. I see a few people asking if you can print on wood, if you can print um, different tiles, stuff like that. Yes, you can. It just has to be sublimation coated. You can print uh, mugs, you can print koozies, you can print glassware, you can print wood. It just has to be sublimation coated. And I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can check the price difference yourself and also all the sublimation accessories that you can get to use with this infusible ink and with a regular sublimation printer because it really is the same thing. So if you're looking at my review right now, I would recommend actually buying a sublimation kit. That'd be your best bet. Uh, you make a lot more money. Even if you're just doing hobbies and crafts, I would still recommend you buying a sublimation printer. Again, with a sublimation printer, you don't have to weed anything else out either. All you're doing is printing it just like a regular piece of paper, inverting it inverting your print, printing it, place it on your shirt, and you're good to go. You, you don't have to weed anything out. That's another big plus of it. And your print size is gonna be bigger depending on the printer that you do buy. And if you did find this helpful, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out all my other screen print videos. Click the link in my description for screen print supplies on sale right now from Amazon and check you on the next one. Now that's dedication. I want to give a shout out to Solid Citizens over at Reddit for letting me share this tattoo. Love the tat. This guy ain't playing around.